Hello everyone, I'm Mike at 87 Welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door No Damage. No Damage is a challenge run in which if I take damage, I have to reset the game and go back to my last save point. I also cannot load my to max HP to 5. So last time I finished Chapter 1, so now I'm going to continue from there. So I went ahead and, and got, got Quick Chains, just because that will be helpful against certain sets of enemies. And I have plenty of beds I'm going to need to sell, like all these Danger Badges and HP Plus are obviously useless. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of those for some extra money, because I'm also going to want to buy some other badges. So if I just go up to the bad shop, I can go ahead and do that. So, yeah. So let's see what I need to sell. I need to sell, obviously, my Gresh P, because that's not... I mean, it's normally a really good badge, but not going to be any use in the no damage run. Same for HP+. Plus. And any other danger badge, pretty much. And attack of a jar, I'm not going to need that anymore. I didn't even use it for a kill anyway, so yeah. So I'm going to sell all this stuff. And then I'll probably buy Jumpman. Because that'll be useful for some bosses, you know, easily increase my attack power. I don't need Happy Heart because, you know, I never take damage. Let's see, what else? I don't need Close Call. And I think that'll be all I'm going to sell for now. Let me just check. Yeah, all the other badges can have use, so I'll keep them. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably go buy Jumpman. All right. So is this T in the way? Yeah. Okay. So did I order the contact lens? Might not have done that. Hmm. Guess I need to do that real quick. Okay. I think while I'm doing that, I'm going to go into the Thousand Door because I haven't done that yet, so just save myself some time that way. Okay. So now let's just head over. I'm sure all the badges I don't need already, so let's see if Charlie Chen happens to have Jumpman yet. I'm going to hope he does. I have to take that one to take forever. Uh, sadly, he doesn't. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the contact lens and then head two screens away until he has it. Alright, I, um, I don't really want that mushroom, I'll just sell it now. I think I'll sell all the items I don't need, which would include this mushroom. Anything else? Yeah, I, all the other ones could be of use, so I'll keep them for now. Alright, here's your contact lens. Alright, let's get on with things. Okay. Alright. So, I'm going to be buying a Thunderbolt and Fire Flower, because those are going to be necessary for later. Also, let's grab some Star Pieces, because I don't see why I wouldn't grab them in any case. Don't have a Spin Jump yet, so let's just continue on with this. So I'll buy this, basically. Alright, I think I already have several fire flowers. Yeah, I got several of them, so I should be good to continue for now. So I'll do that. And I'll see if he can have Jumpman after... Uh, I have to go up to the train area first, and then hopefully he'll, he'll have Jumpman after that. If he doesn't, I'll have to do it again. Alright, let's see. Uh, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna buy that. Now I think I'm pretty much set to go, so I'm gonna head off to chapter 2 now. I'm gonna adjust my badges a little bit. Let's see, I don't think I need that or that, so. Yeah, I think I'll put on. I don't think I need to chill out either, because. Yeah. I'll keep it for now, but once I get more BP, I'm probably gonna change some things around. So yeah, alright, let's head down here, I'm definitely going to want to grab damage dodge because that will be essential for not taking damage from all the enemies in Boggy Woods and the Great Tree.
I mean, it's definitely going to be a really useful badge going forward. Alright. Let's follow him now. Okay. Okay. Said, grabbing damage dodge is going to be a very important badge to have. How many star points do I have? Yeah, I'm going to need to change some things around it looks like, so. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want damage dodge, so. Yeah, I'll take off quick change for now. I don't think I need it right at the moment. And I guess I'll put on pretty lucky. I don't really have anything else to put on, so I'll just continue. Because I still want to be able to use hammer for some of the enemies in here, so. Check my badges one more time. I think I got everything I need. Yep, that should be good. And yeah, I'm gonna want Coops out most of the time because he has one defense, so he can guard those two, dam two damage he attacks and still take no damage. The one thing I gotta watch out for is the piercing attacks from Puffs. Like, their, their lightning attack can pierce defense, so I'm gonna have to make sure they don't get a chance to use that. Or if they do, I need to take them out before they use it. Which there are going to be a couple ways to do that. There's a reason I bought some extra fire flowers and stuff, so. Okay. So yeah. The enemies still are, probably won't be too difficult, but since I have damage dodge now, that'll make things a lot easier. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be buying these people at some point, but not yet. Finally, let's see what's the first thing we run into. Uh, piranha plant, or, or hell, piranha. Piranha plants are different enemies. Okay. So, Anik left. Yeah, those are a little annoying to deal with just because they have lots of defense. So I pretty much have to use a um, power smash to take them out. Well, piercing blow is how it happened to have, so yeah. Power smash will do the same thing essentially, so it's fine. Okay. Let's see. Next is a cliff. Alright. Let's see. And then a Pell Prana. Alright. So I'll power smash the cliff first. I mean, if I guard the Pell Prana, I shouldn't take any damage. So it's fine to just leave him here for now after just shell tossing him. Yep, that's damage dodge for you. Anyway, now I just hammer him and he should be gone. Okay. Alright, let's see. I need syrup. Yeah, I don't really need that. Okay. That's just a bunch of those guys. Not sure I want to spend FP or not. I, I probably won't just to, you know, save some, just to save some FP. But it would make things a lot faster. I just want to make sure I have enough to power smash all the clefts that come. Mm, that's falling. Okay. I think it's not flying on me. Okay, so Coops can go in two even without damage dodge P because he has one defense by default. So that's really useful. Okay. So 
So I just got to do a couple more turns of guarding this. Should be good. Well, okay. Thank goodness he has defense. If that had fallen Mario, that would have been dumb. <laughs> Buckets, man. I swear, they're going to mess up so many times. They're going to mess me up so many times. I don't even... I'm pretty sure I'm going to get messed up with them more than just a few times in this run. That's already happened once. Inevitably going to happen some more, unfortunately. Alright, now I can just hammer him and it should be gone, so that's good. It's so good that coo that fell on coops though, otherwise I would have had to reset again. That's a, that's pretty annoying. <laughs> Alright. Okay, right, we gotta go with the great tree now, right? Yep. Oh, okay. I gotta make sure I don't fall on those, otherwise it's gonna be a reset in that case too. Okay. Right. Also, I guess I might as well grab this to sell, because why not? It's FP+. Plus. All right, and I just gotta head up there. Okay, talk to him, and then, yep, okay. Okay, just continue back now. Mm. Mm. Alright, doing good so far. Those are where puffs are going to start showing up. The problem is that they can charge and then do piercing damage, so I have to make sure they don't get a chance to do that, basically. So, let's see. Oh, well, I'll just have to power smash this guy. The nice thing is they can't charge and rise at the same time, so I can always hammer them if they're on the ground, even if they're charged. Although if they attack me, I've got to disregard them. Okay, he's charging, so if I can just hammer him, he'll be, it'll be fine, though. I'd say Puffs are probably the more annoying enemy around here. Because they have piercing damage, and their attacks are a bit harder to guard, I think. Okay. Let's see what's next. Got another Puff, right? Yep. There's two of them, in fact. So I'll be careful there. Okay. Um... I kind of want to get rid of that Dizile one right now, just make sure that it doesn't get get the chance to use that. Yeah, I'll do that. Coops can't really do anything afterwards though, so just defend I guess. Alright. Jeez, I just have to worry about getting a fellow guard one of these times. Anyway, now I get rid of this guy. I'll toss him. If he charges, I can just hammer him, so things should be fine from here. Cool. Now let's just, yeah, attack him. He's gone. Alright, that fight's over.
Got the detail. I, I don't really need that to so just toss it. Okay. Okay, grab that. So this bat normally isn't that good, but I think in this room it might actually have some uses. The P down, D up P. Because, you know, increasing part of your defense could save me from some damage, so I think it could come in handy even though it's not normally that good of a badge. Alright, now you just gotta get the flurry towels. So I'm gonna hit this. Okay, come on. Just get over there, alright. Quick hammer, I guess I'll grab that. Let's see, isn't there a puff? Okay, got the first strike. Let's see what this is, it's just two of them. Okay. I think I'll save myself some time by power smashing the back one. Just, you know, get rid of them faster. Could also save me resets in some cases, but we'll see. Because I don't have to worry about him failing the block or anything. Okay, so that one's down. Just need five more to level up, so that's good. I'll be going for BP. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I guess I'll hit this because FP, so may as well. And I just grab that and then head this way. Is save block just up ahead, so let's hope nothing dumb happens above that pit. Okay, good. Alright, so let's um, hit that save block. I'm gonna want to. Make sure I don't want to go back so far when I get take damage. Okay. Yep, okay, let's just get all my things. So next I got about the Shadow Sirens. I think I've got a plan for them, so... Well, I gotta change my badges a bit before that, so... Uh, I'm gonna need to jump... Well, okay, I'll do it when I get there, because, you know, I, I have enemies first, so... I'm gonna wait till I get closer before I... Use jump man and power bounce. So they're kind of annoying because they can use piercing attacks. But as long as I, as long as Beldum isn't below six, isn't six below six health, they can't use their piercing attacks. So I'll be taking advantage of that to make sure they don't get a chance to use them. That's the plan anyway. I bought some eyes specifically for this fight as well. Like, I'm going to be using the Thunderbolt and Fire Flower. Alright, let's see. I'm just going to attack this guy, I guess. Hmm. I guess I'll just jump on him and she'll toss the next one. Because I might do that. I'm probably my last have enough FP to be able to do the Shadow Sirens fight. I mean, I'm getting a little bit, not much, but a little bit. Okay. Jump on him. Yeah, I'm also would like to be able to level up too. So I'm gonna probably fight a couple enemies on my way back for that reason. All right, might as well grab those. Alright, that guy's got an Earthquake. I'm definitely not letting him use that. So I gotta attack with Coops, get rid of that guy, and then power smash the cleft. Okay, now what's this guy gonna do? Charge. That's a little troublesome, so I think I'm gonna... I've got plenty of Fire Flowers, right? Yeah, I've got like four of them. I only need one for the Shadow Sirens, so I'm gonna use one here. Just to make sure this guy doesn't get to charge attack me. Earth Tremor could have also been an option, but I, I, I just rather do that, honestly. 
So yeah, BP is what I'm going for. Probably for a while as well. I probably don't need more FT for a little bit. Right. Yeah, I'll just ignore the rest of the enemies for now. And I'll change my badges to get ready. So I'm gonna need Jump Man, Power Bounce. I need Damage Dodge, obviously. Power smash, yeah, this looks like pretty much what I'm gonna need. Let's see. So it's got damage dodge, jump man, power bounce, and power smash. Those are the bad that I would really need for this. Alright, let's continue then. I need to have coops out because some of them do two damage. So I wanna make sure that those, that doesn't become a problem and make sure all the all my characters that are out can take take a two damage hit by garden. Take my badges one more time. So we gotta jump in. I got the Thunderbolt and Fire Flower, so I think I'm prepared. Alright then. In that case, let's get going. Okay. Right. So I got about these guys. So I've got a plan for this. Like I said, if the gets below 6 out of HP, they can start using piercing attacks. So I want to make sure that doesn't happen. And I want to take her out before she gets to the point where she's below 6 HP. So, so Firefly will get her down to exactly 6 HP. So that's what I'm going to start with. And then I can use Power Bounce with Jump Man to get 6 more damage. So that'll be enough to take her out. Okay. Let's go guard these. Cool. Okay, so Marilyn still has 9 health left, if I remember right. So I'm going to Thunderbolt her, because that'll do a lot of damage. And then, I guess I'll Power Bounce her, to make sure she goes out. Okay. Look, this power on Vivian, then she should be out pretty quickly. All right, cool. That ends that fight. The Sarah Siren's damage with no damage, so that's cool. Well, I'm gonna go this way and save because that would probably be a good idea. After that, yep. Alright, so save here. And I also think I'll end this part here. So, so I made it this far. So next time I'm going to continue chapter 2. Get into the great tree and stuff. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part.